joy, joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy. Got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Down in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the in my heart Where? down in the depths of my heart Where? down in the depths of my heart I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart Where? down in the depths of my heart Praise God, children! It's good to see you once again in today's children's time. My name is Teacher Solomon and I'll be taking you through today's lesson. But before we do, let's pray. Loving Father, we praise you for this morning. And Lord, we ask you that uh, you help us, our hearts and minds, to receive whatever you want us to learn today. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, children, last week, you learned about Elijah and how God used him to do very many wonderful things with Teacher Silva. Well, today, just like in the song that you've just learned, we will be talking about peace. And today's lesson will be coming from the book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 15, which says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart as members of one body, we are called to peace. Colossians chapter 3 verse 15. Well, children, I want you to look at this picture. Well, in this picture, you can see a man stuck in the river. There is a snake and a crocodile and a bird just waiting to eat the remains of this man. And he seems to be stuck. Well, children, many times we feel trapped like the man in this picture and our minds are worried and scared. In other words, we do not have peace. There are very many things in your life that will threaten your peace. For example, lack of money to go back to school, maybe food, there is nothing at home. Uh, you're rejected maybe by your friends or you're even your own parents. Maybe there is a lot of illness. Many people are very sick at home and you're worried that you are next. Well, worrying is not a problem for only children. Even Prophet Elijah that you learned about with Teacher Slivia last Sunday, who had witnessed fire rain down from heaven on earth, was scared of Jezebel's and King Hahab's death threats and he ran for his life. You see, he was also scared, just like you might be. Thankfully, God has provided a way out. He has sent us his son, Jesus Christ, who always and always gives us peace if we trust him. Children, all we have to do is to let the peace of Christ rule in our hearts. But then, how do we do that? Well, five things you might try out to do. One, you have to choose Jesus to be in charge. You see, sometimes inviting the peace of God to rule in our hearts requires you to choose who is in charge, fear or Jesus Christ. But 1 Corinthians 14.33 reminds us that God is not of disorder, 
but of peace. Yes, this world is full of chaos, but you have the ability to experience true peace through Jesus Christ because he has overcome the world. Number two, make Jesus your only rock. You see, Jesus told us a parable of two men, one who built his house on sand and the other who built his house on the rock. And you know when the wolves came, they destroyed the one of the man who built his house on the sand and the one of the rock, the house stayed. Now the wisdom here is that you are as strong as your foundation whether sand or rock. Now, as children of God, our rock is Jesus Christ. Children, you see those things that you like so much, that you hold on to, those nice cars, nice clothes, nice toys, big houses, fancy cars, all those things can be destroyed. And once that happens, you will be sad with a lot of grief, and your peace will be taken away. But if Jesus is your rock, the one you're holding on to, Jesus will never fade away. Jesus will never be taken away from you. He's always with you. And therefore, the peace that he gives you, you will have it forever. So make Jesus your only, only rock. Number three, pray to Jesus to give you peace. You see, Jesus is the only person who knows exactly what you're going through or what is disturbing you and is the only person who can help you overcome it. All right? The Bible tells us in Philippians 4, 6-7 that do not be anxious of anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So therefore, if you're frightened, talk to him. If you're scared, run to him. If you're weak, go to him for help. For Jesus will always answer your prayers. Number four, focus on what God is doing or wants to do with your life. A lot of things will distract you from keeping your focus on God, but always it depends on what you choose to look at or what you choose to listen to. Look at Daniel in the lion's den. His eyes were on God and not on the lions that were trying to eat him up. You see, the Apostle Paul reminds us in Philippians 4, 8 to 9 that finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things and the peace of God will be with you. Number five. Let go and learn to trust in God's power. Children, this is the hardest. But the Bible tells us, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will set your path straight. You see, to, main, to know and maintain peace in your life, you need to learn to trust that God will see you through everything because God controls everything. Remember our memory verse for today will come from Colossians chapter 3 and verse 15 which says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart for as members of one body we are called to peace. Well, this is my prayer for you this week. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. May the Lord God be with all of you. Amen. See you next week.